Recording gameplay on the Steam Deck is a bit of a journey, especially when you're looking for a reliable, high-quality setup. In a previous video, I shared my top four methods for capturing gameplay on the Steam Deck, and after trying them all out, I thought I'd found the perfect solution. Steam Link seemed to cover all my needs. It captured everything from the gameplay itself to Steam's overlays and menus directly on my computer screen, while allowing me to keep the deck in gaming mode. But then, suddenly things stopped working correctly. When I connected my docked Steam Deck to my iMac through Steam Link via a wired Ethernet connection, the performance overlays, Steam button, quick access menu, and in-game keyboard all disappeared from the computer display. Now all of a sudden, I could only see them on the Steam Deck screen itself, which defeated the purpose of using Steam Link. Without these overlays showing up in my recordings, it became impossible to accurately share the full Steam Deck experience, including performance metrics that viewers depend on. I figured it would be a quick fix, but after going through every menu and setting I could find, the issue persisted. So I reached out to Steam support, hoping for a solution. My main question was around why Steam Link wasn't showing the performance overlays on the iMac screen as it had before. I wanted to know if this was a common bug or if I was missing something on my end. Before diving into my back and forth with Steam support, it's important to understand why I was so committed to using gaming mode for recording. Desktop mode, while functional, just doesn't have the same capabilities for gameplay. It uses the Xorg display server, which is great for general multitasking, but lacks gaming mode's precision when it comes to optimizing games. Gaming mode, on the other hand, uses a Wayland-based compositor called Gamescope, specifically tuned to enhance full-screen gaming on the Steam Deck. Gamescope allows seamless control over scaling, resolution adjustments, and other performance tweaks, with no need for the kind of custom workarounds that desktop mode would require. The overlays in gaming mode, like FPS counters and frame time graphs, are built specifically to help users monitor performance and optimize their gameplay. These are essential for recording, as they give an honest look at how the Steam Deck handles different games. Losing those overlays in my Steam Link setup felt like losing a big part of that experience. In my message to Steam support, I explained that my overlays were no longer visible on the iMac through Steam Link, despite a stable Ethernet connection and a fully functional docked setup. I could still see the overlays on the deck's own display, but they just wouldn't appear on the computer screen through Steam Link. This was a complete change from how it had worked before. Steam support responded quickly, suggesting I start with the basics, ensuring the micro SD card was ejected and disconnecting any accessories other than the power supply. They even linked me to an article covering common docking issues. What? But I was certain that my dock setup wasn't the issue. My main concern remained, why were the overlays missing specifically on Steam Link's display? In my follow-up response, I shared this concern, and Steam support advised me to try switching OS builds from stable to beta and back, in case this reset any underlying configurations. I went ahead with the change, but it didn't resolve the issue. The overlays were still only showing up on the deck itself. It was as if Steam Link couldn't pick up certain UI elements, leaving the iMac screen almost like a mirror without the extra details. Steam support then recommended something more technical, resetting the Steam Deck's firmware and BIOS. This reset process involved holding down the volume down button and the quick access menu button, then pressing the power button. After about a minute or two, the deck would boot up again. I followed these steps exactly as directed and the deck restarted as expected, but unfortunately, Steam Link's display remained unchanged. I began looking into Steam support's guide on re-imaging the device. This process essentially wipes the deck, restoring it to factory settings, which is helpful for deep-rooted issues. However, with all the customizations and settings I tailored on my deck, wiping it was a last resort for me. I decided to ask Steam support directly if they believed this issue was tied to Steam Link settings rather than the deck itself. They replied, suggesting one more advanced reset option, putting the deck into battery storage mode. This essentially drains the deck completely, with the goal of resetting certain components from the battery level up. I followed the steps, but once again, the Steam Link display issue remained. By this point, I felt I'd tried every reasonable solution, so I shared my hesitation about re-imaging the deck. I thanked them for their help and began exploring alternatives to Steam Link. Since Steam Link was no longer an option, I decided to set up a capture card with a twist. This time, instead of just using the capture card and playing in desktop mode, I purchased a small, portable 10.5-inch monitor. My goal was to keep using gaming mode while displaying the gameplay on an external screen, but I couldn't fit another full-size monitor with my limited desk space. With this portable monitor connected via HDMI through the capture card, 
I could essentially mirror the DeX display without the overlay issues I'd had on Steam Link. Setting up the portable monitor was straightforward. After connecting it for the first time, the monitor's screen went blank with vertical lines and I thought I might have a faulty display. But after disconnecting and reconnecting everything, the monitor finally began working as intended. Once the display was up and running, I was thrilled to see all the overlays, performance metrics, and Steam menus appearing on the monitor exactly as they should. The portable screen has another bonus. It's easier to see than the Steam Deck's built-in 7-inch display. With my new setup, I could clearly see everything in gaming mode, which makes this setup ideal for recording. Plus, Decky Loader plugins work flawlessly, letting me fine-tune settings or add custom overlays to enhance the experience. This portable monitor and capture card setup really transform my recording process. Looking back, I'm glad I went through this troubleshooting process. Even though Steam Link couldn't deliver the full experience I was hoping for, the capture card and monitor setup has provided a more reliable and immersive way to record Steam Deck gameplay. If you're struggling with your own recording setup on the Steam Deck, I'd highly recommend trying a capture card with an additional monitor. This way, you get all the benefits of gaming mode without compromising on quality or missing those essential overlays and settings. And if anyone else has run into the Steam Link bug, let me know in the comments if you were ever able to fix it. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Decked Out Gaming. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.